Hello Pisces and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Victory! Look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. Blossoming abundance, caring connections coming to you. You're extremely intuitive, okay? Yes. Um, I feel like, you know, I, I kind of get the sense, though, that there's someone else from your past that wants to come and chase after you, but you are way ahead of them, okay? They're like at a trot, and you're like full steam ahead. Um, so I feel like you're moving forward very quickly. There may be, it, whoever wants to come towards you from your past, it doesn't have to be an ex. It could be a friend, a family member, okay? <clears throat> Anyone that you decided to leave behind, um, they're about to come chasing after you now. All right, so you have this major victory. Door to spirit is opening up. I feel like spirit's trying to guide you forward, too. You know, they're pointing the way. So you could be getting a lot of downloads. Um, you could be having a lot of messages in your dreams. You could actually be feeling some um, spirits, passed on loved ones, ancestors, spirit guides around you, okay? Um, yeah, I feel like uh, you could be getting the chills, getting goosebumps, right? The hair could be raising on your arms. Um, you could feel like you're being touched. You're definitely, spirit is definitely trying to lead you here, okay? But I feel like you already know that, you know, you, um, you're having this major victory. I feel like you've passed through judgment. You're closing out a cycle. This is a completion is really what it feels like. And I feel like a door has been closed, but when one door closes, another one opens and spirit is opening up a door for you. Um, I feel like possibilities are coming in, um, opportunities, um, new soulmate connections, right? And a lot of abundance. I feel like you're going to start to notice your money is growing. Um, whatever you're trying to create here, um, I feel like it's going to grow into a success. Like it's going to be booming. I'm also seeing this as a portal. This is, uh, this is the new um, life that you're creating for yourself here. This is this new cycle starting. Okay? I feel like you, um, you maybe you've been working on a creative project. Or you're getting some new ideas, right? Look at the way you're thinking here and all of these stars around your halo. I feel like uh, you're getting some new creative ideas. Whatever, I'm, and I'm getting the spirit is like talking to you, okay? You know, yeah, you are co-creating with the divine right now. And they're, they're wanting you to start some kind of project or... Um, go, you know, go forward with this creative idea. Create, create, create collective, okay? Um, I, I really feel like whatever you touch is turning to gold right now, okay? I'm also getting that you're being crowned here. So you could be a light worker, a divine feminine, and finally, um, your wishes are being brought in here for you, Okay? You may be able to sense that because you are extremely intuitive with all the purple. You could own a black cat. Or you could be entering into some kind of mediumship as well. If you can sense all of this energy around you and if you can, if you know that passed on loved ones and ancestors and spirit guides are trying to talk to you, Okay, you could be entering into mediumship, having your abilities heightened, because I'm looking at where the cat is looking. The cat's looking over here somewhere, so I know that you can feel this, okay? You can feel the energy around you, and they're all trying to give you this, like, um, encouragement, right, to start something new. This is creating something new here. This is birthing something new. Some of you could be pregnant. Somebody here could be having a baby, okay, with a new caring connection already. Or 
you could be getting pregnant in the future if you are, have possibly already started this connection, right? And that's not for all of you, right? But yeah, somebody here is pregnant or will be getting pregnant and maybe you don't even realize it yet. But I feel like, uh, yeah, your intuition is being heightened and you're going through this new portal into a new cycle. As you leave somebody behind, they want to chase you, but you're heading straight into the arms of somebody new, somebody who's going to care for you, care about you, and show it, okay? Yeah, they need to show it. They need to show it. All right, so what else can you show me here for the collective? Messages for my beautiful collective. Clarify door to spirit. Door to spirit. Ooh, yeah. Big opportunities, right? Um, this could be a, a massive opportunity that comes in for you that spirit wants you to grab a hold of. This could be that big giant project that you could be starting with that um, awesome creativity that you have, right? This could be a brand new idea. This could be a whole lot of money coming in, money in abundance. This is a new beginning. Spirit is opening a new door for you. Okay? Oh. And somebody who's betrayed you is feeling like a complete and utter fool. Um, I feel like they've maybe uh, you're making them look like a fool is what I just heard. Uh, thank you, Spirit. Yeah, because uh, maybe this person, like, backstabbed you, talked trash about you, spread a bunch of lies and gossip about you. And I feel like um, maybe they, maybe you already had this idea and they thought it was stupid. You know, they could have called you crazy because you're very intuitive. You know, I feel like this person said a lot of things to other people about you. Um, yeah, spreading around gossip, slandering your name. And now they feel dumb because you're out here having a very abundant, victorious new beginning. Okay? Yeah. Yep. I'm getting that people are fighting with this person now because they can see you. You could be out in the public eye. You're in the star energy. Um, you could be just on social media. You could have a platform or a website. Something like that. Okay? And I feel like people are loving you, like you're getting some kind of possible fan base or um, you're destined to be a star. You know what I mean? And I feel like people are starting to now realize that this liar was really, I don't know if they were holding a grudge or what, um, but um, they're seeing that they were just very jealous, very envious of you, um, maybe wanting to, just wanting to bring you down. You know, wanting to slander your name. I feel like there's people that are um, going against them now, turning on them, uh, fighting with them. Okay, yeah, see? And it's they're in a whole lot of regret now. I, this person is feeling kind of alone as well, I'm picking up on. Because they're seeing how abundant you're, you're about to be. Even if you can't see it, collective, this person knows. These people know. They can see it. I feel like um, somebody here, not, not for all of you, but someone needs to believe in themselves and your intuition. You really are being divinely led, okay? Spirit's talking to you. You know, um, but yeah, you're, you're about to be very in, independent, financially stable, abundant, Whatever you're growing here, it's built to last as well. This is something that stands the test of time, okay? And uh, this person who's been slandering you that wants to come back in now, I feel like um, they're in a whole lot of regret. This is regret, remorse. Um, they're wishing they would have never turned their back on you because they're seeing they could have had their wishes fulfilled with you. And I, this could be somebody that you were previously committed to also in the past for someone. Because uh, I'm seeing this as wifey, so maybe this is like your ex-spouse, okay? 
And I'm getting that they chose this Queen of Wands energy over you. And that didn't end well. I, they could have even been put in a third party. Because this Queen of Wands, I don't think she was serious anyway. This, the Queen of Wands energy is somebody who passionately goes after what she wants. Okay? Um, you are the one who was wifey material. They, I feel like they got with somebody and they were probably put in a third party. That's what I'm seeing here. You know, I feel like this Queen of Wands either cheated on them or left them for someone else. So the choice that they made in love turned out poorly. Them trying to um, disrespect you and ruin your reputation, that didn't turn out well for this person either. And now this person doesn't want to let you go. See, it's all the truth. It's all the truth. Now they don't want to let you go. You could be um, a Gemini. You could be dealing with a Gemini. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Maybe an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Your person could be an Aries, a Virgo. Maybe a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But yeah, now they're, now they're feeling really dumb because they see that they passed up a blessing in love, like you would have been a blessing, that you would, they would have gotten um, unconditional love here, and they would have been able to share this or build this Ten of Pentacles right along with you. Okay, that's a lot of money. Money and love is, is what this person could have had, but they chose this Queen of Wands over you. And I feel like they were put in some kind of third party. There's those three cups again. Okay, they turned their nose up, up at you thinking they had something better. This Queen of Wands could have been um, very attractive as well. Uh, she could be a fire sign, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But I feel like she really just wanted, maybe she just wanted a passionate relationship with them for a while. But I feel like uh, she may have chosen someone else. Okay? You're moving on. See, yeah, they're regretting this now. They're regretting their choices. They're regretting turning their back and hurting you the way that they did. They're regretting the foolish decision they made to turn their nose up at you. So you're moving on. You're trying to put this behind you, okay? Moving on to calmer waters. You just want some peace, right? You want to live a peaceful life. Um, and I feel like you're, you're ready to release this person because this is a completion to a cycle, okay, is what it, what it is. And you're very balanced. You're not, like, all up in your emotions anymore. If anything, you're thinking very logically in the, in the Queen of Pentacles energy, okay? Very grounded, very stable, um, very uh, brave. You have a lot of courage. You have a lot of confidence. You're beautiful. You're taking good care of yourself. And look at, I'm seeing this as a portal, right? This is a cycle that's closing and a new one opening up. And I feel like um, all of this around you, that's your abundance. It's love, too, as well. Because you do have a caring connection right in your central focus, okay, for your reading. It's right here. So, yeah, um, you're moving on, but you're doing it very quietly. You're not, you, you, no apologies, no explanations. You don't feel like you need to talk to anyone. Um, you're leaving a lot of things behind or a lot of people behind. But, um, man, you're coming out with flying colors. You're definitely having a victory, okay? Yeah. Yeah, and as I say that, this is a victory card. <laughs> Thank you, Divine. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. I'm also seeing this as someone new coming in, okay? Now, your energies are going to match pretty much perfectly. I feel like you've been put through a battle, right? And you're moving on, having a victory, right? And this new person coming in, they've been put through a battle. This is someone riding from a battlefield, having a victory. 
being um, accomplishing something, right? Um, being encouraged and cheered on, possibly in the public eye. Your energies are matching almost perfectly. So now, see, since you've learned your lessons and you've passed your tests and you've passed through judgment, a new door is opening up, right? Here comes this caring connection, and now you're ready for it. Because you've been through the journey, you did everything right, the best that you could, right? It was a difficult one, but look at how strong and confident you are now. This journey has changed you. It's, it's completely transformed you, okay? I feel like in the beginning, you were heartbroken. You were shattered because there's those three swords. There's six swords in this boat. You could have been heartbroken by two different people or um, disappointed by this one a couple of times, right? But you're moving on through that. You're healing from that. And, and I feel like in passing judgment, that is huge. That means you've paid your karmic debt. You've, um, you've, you've cleared cur like family ancestral curses. Okay, you've done all of this work on you. Uh, you're, you've healed, you've purged, you've cleansed, you, you've studied, you know, you've manifested. I mean, you learned all of this on this journey, man. And I feel like you're moving on strong and thankful for every lesson and every blessing that was given to you along the way. And now, because of all of that, all of this is opening up for you, okay? And you can move forward and, and be in a place of peace and possibly stardom because you're being put on a pedestal. This is, this is also being in the public eye. And then remember, you have the star out here as well. So this is somebody who's literally showing yourself to the world. And with the world here, it could be on the Internet, okay? And I feel like whatever you're doing, working on, this was a, it's a creative idea that's um, being sent to you by the divine. I mean, make no mistakes, you are working together with spirit, okay? So uh, I feel like you're following your path and, and you're, you're surrendering to the divine and it's really working for you. Like you're having a major victory. You're like everything here with the world. So, um, yeah, you're able to move forward now. Okay. And whoever this is that you're leaving in the past, man, just know they fall on realize a hundred percent that they've really missed out on their blessing, possibly even their destiny. You know, but they, and they, the person that they chose over you turned out that she didn't love them at all. Cheated on them or left them for someone else. Okay. So, yeah, this new person too. I feel like this new person coming in is a king of pentacles. This is your match. We've got queen of pentacles energy here and the king of pentacles energy coming in. Okay, this is somebody new. This is this new caring connection. And all of the abundance that you have, all the money that's rolling in, this creative idea that's going to be a success, I'm telling you, this is your new life beginning. Okay? All right, so, yeah, look. I'll look at all of this abundance, and you are ready for the right kind of love. You're ready for a commitment. You're ready for somebody who's loyal and dedicated, okay? And that's, that's this king of pentacles. This person is going to be loyal, dedicated, committed, <laughs> strong. They're going to be your rock, okay? Now you're ready. See, I feel like, and look at how far you've come. Look at how far you've come in this journey, collective. I'm telling you. Oh, my gosh, I love you guys. I love you. I mean, seriously, you went from the five of pentacles energy, feeling like you were out in the cold. People could have possibly put you out in the cold. Some of you even with kids. Maybe your whole life was spent in poverty. You know, 
there were so many struggles every day. It was possibly hard for you to rest, you know, constant worries. What are you going to do tomorrow? You know what I mean? Um, yeah. Or possibly even made to feel orphaned. And look at you now. You went from this to this collective. Holy cow. A complete and utter transformation in your life. Okay, and I feel like um, you're grateful for every lesson and every blessing that Spirit has led you to. So, you know what, you're going to continue to um, let Spirit lead you, right? Listen to your intuition. Whatever project or new thing this is, Spirit wants you to, you know, go ahead and start it, right? It's going to bring you abundance. You've got a new caring connection coming in these new doorways opening up for you and your life has been transformed it's beautiful and who uh, i don't know i don't whoever you left behind i i feel like you're the alchemist here you're the alchemist here whoever you left behind may see you as somebody who is very lucky they could see you as somebody who, um, man, you're making your wishes come true. How, like, how are you doing this kind of thing, right? They are in a whole lot of regret. Oh, boy. Anyway, collective, um, let's see what they may want to say to you, okay? What does this person want to say? I feel like they did a lot behind your back that they don't want you to know about. They've said a lot. They've done a lot. It was all to ruin your reputation. My deck is upside down, you guys. I can't read this deck upside down. <laughs> all right, so. All right, what does this person want to say to my beautiful collective? What do they want to say? Maybe we are better off separated. Yeah, I feel like maybe that's what you're thinking. You know, they may feel like you're the person now who's going to have everything. What do they have left, right? What do they have left to offer you, right? I feel like this person's kind of having to lick their wounds a little bit. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. Here's the thing. But behind the scenes, this person was saying a bunch of, a bunch of crap about you. I miss our conversations and the sound of your voice. I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with only you now. I love you so much, but I keep running from you. I don't understand why I do this. Because no other compares to you. Yeah, and I feel like you're, you're moving on with your life. You both need time to heal, okay? You're moving on. You, I feel like you've already done your healing. It's just what the card said. This person needs to do some work on themselves. And you're already ready. You're already ready to fly, okay? Out of stagnancy and into a whole new phase in your life. All right? 